Hi all, welcome to the three-day lead generation challenge. It's a very simple, straightforward method. It's, it's nothing very difficult. Anybody can execute it. In this three-day, I'm focusing on how you can generate leads, how you can uh, create sales, how you can make money from whatever you have now. We'll not be running ads or will not be going behind any complicated automations or any other uh, technical jargons it is very simple very straightforward let me tell you this uh, don't let the simplicity of the approach make you think it is not possible it is proven and this is what i've been doing for a for a long while and this is how i used to uh, create my list my leads my prospects my sales everything okay so i just want you to go through it and do it every day as you watch uh, like after every video you sit back and work on it and build it and uh, apply it like if you are just watching it and not doing anything about it it's not going to help but if you go through the videos and uh, do what is in there it is definitely going to give you results without any extra effort or without uh, paying anything extra. You, you are going to make it from what you have now. We will be focusing more on uh, list, uh, list building, uh, skills pages, uh, and a simple funnel and, and LinkedIn. Okay, so this is to help you get more leads basically. Okay, let me share you my screen. I have a small presentation made for you. Yeah, again, once again, uh, welcome to the three-day lead generation challenge and today is the day one and we will not be uh, going through any technical things today. Uh, so the program is divided into three uh, different days. Day one will be focusing more on strategies and ideas and, uh, and brainstorming things. And on day two, we'll be dealing with technical stuff about building uh, your skills pages, creating your uh, lead magnets and stuff. And on the third day, we'll be focusing more on generating uh, traffic okay so this is how it's divided we are not going to use paid ads or anything throughout the course okay yeah so like you know this is this is nothing new this whole thing might not be a new thing to you it is very simple straightforward thing which you might be already knowing so i'm, I'm just telling you how to apply it in your business how to apply what you already know step by step okay so i really want you to uh, do it along with me do it along with the course or or i i want you to do what you what we have discussed in the day one before we start day two okay so let's go through it and by the day by the end of day three you will actually have a system which is capable of generating leads and bring sales to your business, bring more money to your business, okay? So the first question, whenever it comes to lead generation or sales or whatever it is, the first question is, who is your target audience? Who is your customer? So everything, everything comes along with that is based on this simple question. If you could have, if you could live in magic mind and instantly attract your dream customers, who would they be? Don't think like, okay, this is a dream customer, but I won't be able to reach out to them or I won't be able to get to them. Don't think about it. No, no limitation, no boundaries. If you can get anybody to be your prospect, anybody to be your customer, who will be your ideal target dream customers? That is what you want. That is what I want you to think about. Okay. Identify your dream customers is the key to every marketing strategy or every everything you do uh, about marketing okay so uh, this is a question i want you to ask yourself again and again and find an answer so people say money is in the list whenever it comes to marketing people say there's a lot money is in the list but what is the list a list is nothing but a list of your prospects. Like I said, your dream customers or your prospects or your customers or your existing clients. It's a list of people who will bring money to your business. It's a, it's a list of people, okay? So whenever you're building a list, okay, I, I don't know, like you might be somebody who is already experienced with building a list or you might be very new to this. So when I say list, it, you 
you see it like a spreadsheet you will see it like an excel sheet with names of your client with their phone numbers email email ids with their with their data so it's a, it's a basic simple list and when it comes to marketing people say the marketers top marketers everybody say money is in the list but what is the math behind this say what is the marketing math so ideally it has said that you make 1 dollar per month per name in the list so if you have a list of 100 people you will make 100 dollars every month that is what it means so if you have 1000 people in the list you are capable of making a thousand dollar every month okay that is why people say money is in the list but do you think uh, do you need a 10000 dot 10 10000 names in your list to make it 10000 dollars no probably not but the the idea is if you have 10000 people in your list you you will make 10000 dollars a month but you probably might not need 10000 people in your list to make 10000 dollars also like you can make 10000 dollars with 100 people in your list also but how do you improve this numbers you improve this numbers by nurturing the list by taking care of your list by going uh going towards your list and build relationships and we use automations for this like email sequences email automations and all the stuff like if you are using chatbot or if you are using some other other medium it is all about going back to them and reaching out to them and building that relationship if you are if you are on linkedin like whatever it is like you are creating a relationship with them so the more trust you get from this list the higher the number goes like you can you can make it in the number of 100 Hundred name list also, okay. But when I say list, when I say money is in the list, it's all everything about the list and all. But don't don't go after buying a list. Never ever buy a list. Why? Because you do not have the permission. You do not have the permission to reach out to them because you bought it from somebody else. They didn't give the data to you. and if you are buying a list say if you are buying okay i i told you like uh it is worth 1 dollar per month per per name okay so if you do you think if you buy a list of 1000 people it is worth 1000 dollars per month no because these are the people who have no idea who you are and these are the people who didn't give you the permission to reach out to them and these are the people who might get angry when you reach out to them without their permission so never ever buy a list there are many reasons these are these are the reason with people also there are technical reason because you might end up your email might end up in spam or so when once people start reporting mm, these activities okay so never ever buy a list instead create a list but how do you create a list what is the ideal way to create a list have you ever heard of lead magnets okay lead magnet is a technique lead magnet is a thing which you use to build a credible list how does it work it is nothing but something you are giving some something you are offering to draw that ideal customers to to draw that your dream customers to draw your dream customers towards you this can be an ebook it can be a checklist it can be a free webinar it can be a master class it can be a uh, one on one session it can be an application it can be a quiz or it can be anything but this is something you offer your prospects to give their data okay you you give them this it is like a trade you give them this particular lead magnet and you ask them for their data you ask them their data but in a polite way it's not like okay i'll give you this but you give me this it's not like that but in a polite way so this can it can be something like this it can be very simple very simple like this like you have you know you have an email sorry you have a ebook which you can offer your prospects so you you create a landing page to give away this uh, ebook okay then they click on this or they get this ebook 
download this ebook or something you ask them okay okay sir where should i send you this ebook and that way you can collect their email id or whatsapp number or, or whatever they want whatever you want so so this is how you ask for their data okay it's not like i just send you the ebook you give me the data not like that but in a polite way okay but what should you give can you give anything can you just throw away something you don't use or something you downloaded from other sources just for a name no probably not okay you might get their data but it might not be of that useful for you so there's a hack to decide what to offer as a lead magnet to decide on this what you can do is think of what is the result you are offering your client what are you offering your client what what is that particular offer what what coaching program are you into what are you offering your clients what transformation what what transition are you offering your clients you are a lead magnet should be able to take them one step closer to the result you promised okay you might be a productivity coach the just just for an example i'm saying you might be a productivity coach uh, and you are offering a coaching program to make to to offer your clients you are promising your offer you are promising your client more productive day then you can offer something like uh, like a like a checklist or like a ebook like a checklist to uh, prioritize their events or or maybe a free workshop to help them uh, wake up early in the morning or, or something like that and and if this lead magnet have a instant result there is a higher chance these prospects might get on a call with you or buy your stuff because they are see this is what happens when when they are approaching you and you are you are offering them without asking them anything in return you are ask you are not asking them money or you are not asking them anything but you are offering them something and there is a chance that they might give it a try because they want to test it out whether it will try whether it will work or not so there is a higher chance they will download it and give you their data now when this happens and when they give it a try and if it actually works what goes in their mind is like okay if this is the value i am getting from a free stuff i got from this guy what will be the value of the of the program i pay for and get uh, enrolled so that will be thought process that goes on the prospects head so it is very crucial that when you are offering a lead magnet it should be of top quality and it should be working and if you are if you are just giving away some stupid thing just for collecting their lead you will lose your trust instantly like okay this is the kind of thing this guy gives and how can i trust this program okay this might like even if your program is uh, credible and even if your program is working because of a lead magnet you might lose a chance so don't don't lower the quality of the lead magnet because you are giving it for free make it of high standards make it make sure it is working and try to offer something which gives them instant satisfaction or instant results okay this will help you uh, increase your reputation in their mind and a chance of buying your program or also product or whatever you sell it but this is something very important keep this in mind i have seen people giving away uh, lead magnets i have seen people um, like building skews pages and getting data from lead magnets but the quality really matters if it is of not if it is not of high quality you might lose your sale okay be careful about this now um, these are things uh, i want you to know today and i have some assignments uh, for for today like I, i actually wanted you to know little you go a little deeper about finding your niche finding your audience and all which we have already covered in the course so i have a little assignment for you to watch the course and 
find it out. Uh, since I have already recorded that course, I'm not doing it again. Okay, so I have some assignments for this day. Like, like I said, I know it is very simple. It is very basic, but it is very, very important. What you are doing now, like spend as much as time you want, but it is very important. This is very important. Okay, so I have few assignments which I want you to do before, before the next day session. Okay. Now you go to Internet Lifestyle Club and you will find a, okay, I'll show you this. If you go to Internet Lifestyle Club uh, and in workshops, we already have a uh, session called your niche positioning statement and buyer persona. I want you to watch this video. It's a 30 or 40 minutes short video. Uh, go to the uh, watch that video and you will also find some uh, materials here. So if you go to the video, you will find a workbook and a bio persona templates. Uh, okay, you might be already knowing this. So go through this. Fill, fill in this form, make a copy of it, make a copy of it and uh, make it suitable for you. And there's a bio persona uh, template also, which you can use to build your bio persona. Okay, once you once you watch this video, you will you'll get a better idea on how to use this materials. You watch that video, and in that video, uh, I have explained how to find your niche, how to find your positioning statement. Go through it, watch it, and work on it. Like fill in the assignments, like fill in the sheet, like there's one sheet and one bio persona template, which you can use to create your bio persona in five ten minutes. Okay. So watch the watch that training once and identify your niche and create your positioning statement, which is there in the assignment, which is there in that material. And then use one of the bio persona template to create your bio persona. And then what I want you to do is you go through social media, you go through Google search, or you go through different sources and find five of your competitors. Like say you are a health coach offering um, offering trans, transformation for pregnant women or, or somebody like for obese people, like obese teens. Say like search for who else is uh, offering the same, same, same programs. You might not be alone. Like you, you might think you are alone, but there will be a lot of people who will be who will be offering the same same offers. So list down at least five of your competitors and list down their offers. Just like this, you make a page and you list down their your competitors or maybe influencers in your segment and list down what they are offering so that you will get a better idea. Okay. And then what you do is come up with. 10 lead magnet ideas. Okay, so this is how it works. Like you are offering a transformation, a health coaching program where you where you help obese teams to reduce like 10 to 20 kgs of weight. So if that is what you're offering, you find out who else is offering it and what are their offerings, like accurate offers. And then you will be you will get an idea uh, whether to modify or alter your offer or you can add up something to your offer. For creation and all, we'll be discussing more in detail on next sessions also. But here you will get a better idea and think of lead magnet ideas. Like list down, brainstorm, like sit for 30, 30, 40 minutes and come up with 10 amazing lead magnet ideas. List down this 10 lead magnet ideas, okay, for, to, for tomorrow's session, before tomorrow's session. So three things, watch the find your niche course and complete the assignment and list down five of your competitors and their offers and come up with 10 lead magnet ideas. Once you're ready with this, on the next session, what we'll be doing is we'll be building actual SKUs pages, landing pages, and we'll be connecting them with our email autoresponders. And I'll, I'll tell you how to nurture your leads and uh, increase the customer customer value, customer retention value. Okay. So uh, today, the first day, it is very basic. Tomorrow, we'll be 
we'll be working more on technical stuff. So before we go to technical stuff, I want you to have a clear picture on your your audience and your offer. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, like I said, in the next session, uh, we'll be creating few pages, set up social media profiles like mostly your LinkedIn and Facebook profiles. Um, I'll help you optimize it. Then how to set up a call call scheduling strategy, and then we'll also discuss on how to prepare your prospects on the sales call. It is very important. Uh, you should prepare your customer well, your your prospects well for the sales call to increase the rate of sales success. Okay, so we'll be discussing all these on the next session, and on the last day we'll be discussing more on how to drive traffic, how to drive more traffic to your lead magnet and stuff, okay? How to create content, how to create compelling copies and all those stuff we'll be discussing on third day. Okay, then see you, see you, see you on the next session. Don't forget to, don't forget the assignments. Bye.